that wind is going to stay with us today. It'll be 15 miles per hour and it's going to gust in the upper teens to low 20s. Right now, a 20 mile per hour wind gust in Ochopee and with the winds expected to uh, be breezy and offshore, that really helps with the red tide. Our modeling shows low concentrations for the Naples Pier, also for Bonita Beach, same thing for Naples, and that offshore flow will continue for tomorrow. That's one benefit of a northeasterly or easterly breeze and that wind, like I said, is not going to go anywhere. So as we look at our forecast here for today, uh, we'll stay around 76. But as the late afternoon and early evening progress, we are going to see our temperatures uh, get up to about 76 and more sunshine. We'll be below average of 81 as an old frontal boundary to the south and a ridge of high pressure begin to uh, interact. And eventually, uh, once this moisture moves out today, which you see happening right about 5 o'clock, the clouds move out, then we see east to westerly flow. That means we're going to warm up here Thursday and for St. Patrick's Day, we're going to see a southeasterly wind, so a little more humidity, and then there's the cold front. That's going to be potentially a game changer as we're going to see a little deeper, stronger trough dig across the eastern half of the U.S. What it means in the seven-day forecast is a 70 to 80 percent chance of rain here to start your weekend, and then on Sunday, the rain chance stays near 50 percent, but cooler, 72, and we're going to keep a 40 percent chance of showers and storms Monday and Tuesday, so we have four days now coming up over the weekend where we have a fairly decent shot of rain. Hopefully, that'll help us with our drought conditions.